Okay, Debbie, you got this. See the roads you were doing at this dead bush. At least it's not burning. That'd be, that'd yeah, be that, that, that's way too on the nose. Ah, uh, yeah, dead bird. That's uh, a gull. How far are we from the? How far are we from the ocean? Why is it black? How much, did it just get Filth? completely, but like completely, yeah. Like a hundred percent fill saturation on that thing. Complete global saturation. Exactly. Oh god, that joke suddenly is not very funny. No, no it isn't. Consider the data forwarded. For now, we're not convinced for now we're not convinced the filth targets different organisms in substantially different ways. If the date palms are showing a more advanced stage of corruption, it's likely just a matter of severity. The roots of larger plants tend to get entangled in those of the filth. The filth uses this system, vascular, tentacular, whatever, to anchor itself before spreading. Generally, though, the filth initiates the same infection cycle in every organism it comes in contact with. There's really only one notable exception, you. Oh, dear. The white coats even put in a request to have you diced up and analyzed. Don't worry, it'll probably get denied. So I'm immune to the filth. I'm immune to the filth, so that's, you know, good. Oh, God. You okay there, buddy? Yeah, just... You know, the white coats. Yeah. Yeah. I, sorry about your sister. Thank you. Um, is that just like... That's really sort of weighing on you right now, isn't it? Yeah, it's all just... All the stuff about the filth, you know? It's just bringing... I think... I didn't know what was going on at the time. She didn't tell me. She didn't really want me to worry. I think it must be like something... Something kind of similar. Wow. You know what the worst part is? What? You know, like, no matter what we do, you know... Illuminati's still gonna be there, because it's always there. Yeah? I mean, it's like, we can't, you know, take them down. They're too big. They're too powerful. They practically are our society. It's, yeah. It's like Nasser said. They may as well try to blow up a mountain. <laughs> well. I mean, like, the question is whether does it do, does it do really more harm than good? I mean, or does it do more good than harm? Because we're fighting... Because, like, could we fight the filth without organizations like the Illuminati and the Templar? Ah, oh, fucking hell. Ah! Oh, God. Is the sun supposed to be that big? No, it's just an optical illusion, I'm sure. Ah, uh, optical illusion. What are they talking about? Something about the... Yeah, the Illuminati, whether they do more good. Yeah, like, what... Like, do they cause more harm than good? Or, like, could we actually fight the fails without them? I don't know. I don't even know. I'm not... I'm in no mood for real politic. Ah, I truly am an adventurer. I just delivered a package. Adventurers delivering packages is a vital part of the economy. So, let's see. There's this tea house over here. That 
guy's just wearing a t-shirt. Well, it's a button-up shirt. Okay, yeah. The text is definitely not from my mu from the my new mummy friend. It, tell me is, that, tell is that like the lesbian version of a daddy or? No. Oh the, right, the mummy. You met him. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Brain was a million miles away. Well, there's something going on here. This is a nice place. My friend, it is good to see you. Oh, these assholes mm, again. That guy. Right. A thousand apologies. But given the circumstances, I am sure you will forgive me. We are at war. Do not speak to me of war, fat man. You are still but, late. Don't need a body shame, so okay? <laughs> uh, what is it we need to discuss? Our friend Unlike tattoo we shame, which we can totally do. We have given you this village. The village is still not ours, and this is your problem, not mine. You have received weapons and support. We have awakened your sleeping god. What have you done for us? What, what have we? The shipments have stopped. Your army has failed to defeat the enemy. They run free in the streets. We need more hands digging. Why do your people still resist? My people? They are not my people. The Maria are receiving help from the outside, and they are fighting back, both out there and inside the village. We need more support. You demand more favors from us? Uh, my friend, it is not a demand. But as long as the village remains free, we are unable to finish what we began. Like I said, your problem. Our problem, yes. Yes. And we have a plan. The Maria, they do not know about the tunnels beneath the village. We will use them to mount a surprise attack from the inside. The Maria okay. is having this conversation. Do not waste your time here. Nice of him to just reveal all that Douglas secret Hattie. information. You know, where anyone might be listening in. Like me. Yeah. Oh, a hookah. Hmm, maybe later. Yeah. Hello. You know, they've kept this in good shape considering, you know, everything. Oh, look, there's something down here. Letters are for mortals. Hmm, bees want to tell me something. Welcome to the morning light. Initiate the public face. The fastest growing spiritual movement in history. A self-help empire gaining traction in all corners of the globe. Supplanting political parties and religions. Morning light offers to liberate humanity from its shackles and reach a new pinnacle of evolution. Through the shining light of the sun and the guidance of the ecclesiastical leader of the moral revolution. Philip Marcod. Interesting. Why was there a morning light thing down in there? Maybe Tattoo McGee is working with them. Yeah. The, 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 okay, so... So, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to call him that because I don't remember his name. Fat Man is working for the... Uh, no, call him Beard Man at least. Beard Man, okay, Beard Man. Yeah. Well, come on, we're in, we're in the Middle East. Beard okay. Man does not really narrow down. But much. he's got such a beard. Okay, beard. How about um, I don't know, Dagger Man. That doesn't sound right. Mm -hmm. Um, that guy. I used to play bass for Dagger Man. <sighs> yeah. Beard Man. Okay, we'll go with Beard Man. Fine, we'll go with Beard Man. Beard Man has. Is working for the uh, he he he's apparently like a leader of the community or something. 
But the Mario are resisting him. Yeah. So the guy, so Tattoo Guy wanted to, wanted, was giving him support. Mm -hmm. But he didn't, he didn't expect to have outside support for us to also be giving him outside support. Right. For, but for giving the Mario outside support, I mean. Mm hmm. Okay, I think how this is going. There's a lot of conspiracies for just this, for just such a small place, you know? Well, I mean, hello. They got they got like a something buried out there. Imagine a lot of powerful people want it, mostly just to make sure no one else has it. Enter the Council of Venice. They sent a representative to Egypt to observe these happenings. The poor lumbering giant. Though the smuggling of occult artifacts goes against their strictures, they assumed it was a false alarm and reacted slowly. A bureaucracy grinds its gears. Are you guys really just throwing yourself at me? You're, it's like, oh god, this is a distraction, isn't it? Oh fuck. What are they doing? I don't know, but I'm kind of pinned down here. Holy shit, look at that hammer. Can your hammer do that trick? Which one? He had it on fire. Yeah, yeah, it does it all the time. I can make lava erupt from, from the ground. Wow, I... Man, I need to pay Did you never notice that? There's a lot going on in the battles. It's a good thing I'm out here and not you. Yeah, that's a really good thing. So let's see, I gotta find the tunnel entrance before. Yeah. I gotta find the secret tunnel. That... That's the most obvious secret tunnel entrance I have ever seen. This will have a neon sign up. It's like that road sign reading secret nuclear bunker. <laughs> oh, dude, can you just close the door on me? Fuck. Well. Wait, seriously, we're just heading back out? We can't, like, blow it open with magic? Yeah, this oh. wall looks weak. Whoa! Da 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 da! Yeah. Whoa! Okay! I hate these things. They just come out of nowhere. Shit, was it playing dead? Oh my god, oh. No, I just knocked it down. Oh, okay. You know, see, it curls up when it's dead. Ah, yeah. yeah. Cause that's the way bugs do. Mm. They have a little... It's something to do with the fact that their muscles are hydraulic. Yeah. Well, I don't think all of them. I think just like arachnids. Mm, uh, the... you know, all, the bu all bugs kind of pull up. Pull their uh, kind of curl up like that. Yeah, guess you're right. I don't really know anything about bugs. I just think they're cool. All right. Like maybe open the door so you don't have to go back that way. Oh yeah. Good idea. Oh, he blew out the switch. Damn it. What is this? He broke the switch. Ah. Why do people always gotta make the security doors so complicated? It, it defies logic. It's like in Five Nights at Freddy's, where you needed to spend energy to keep a door closed. That's... That's what gravity does. Oi. He's got a doorstop. Oh. Oh, fucking hell, I hate it when... I hate it when Scarecrows did that. Mm-hmm. Ah. Wow. Well. Oh, that's that's important. 
whatever that is. Oh shit. Try and blow stuff up. Hmm. Oh no, how am I ever gonna find a way down? Yep. <laughs> Gravity is a harsh mistress, but you can make her your sub. <laughs> nice. Oh, uh, look at those crates. Isn't it care? Isn't it great for them? Isn't it nice of them to like mark them for us? Phoenicians, eh? Oh God, the Phoenicians. Oh, we already knew they were involved. They were the ones who were transporting everything to South Africa for some reason. Oh, God. I guess I blocked that out. Take the artifact from the purple interloper. Kill him if you need to. Then take these posters and tunnels and blast into the town. Justice at Patience. Get the artifact to the ship and get a receipt this time. You know why. Meet me at Cafe Giza for your next assignment. Hmm... Someone at Cafe Giza is working for the Phoenicians. Hmm. I wonder who. Look at his skin. It's like slate gray. That's racist. I think. I mean, look at that. Oh, yeah. He oh. might as well be a corpse. Maybe like... Maybe, like, he actually died a long time ago, and the filth is just keeping his body alive, but only barely. How is that any different from a zombie? Drog, I guess. You know, yeah, have you ever... There's a video game out there called Manual Samuel. Which is where, like, you're a, you know, you're a, you're a guy who dies, and you make a deal with death to come back to life, but... You, you, your body doesn't have any autonomous functions. So you gotta, uh -huh. like, constantly breathe and pump your blood and blink and stuff. And, like, you're alive, but you're not a zombie. But you're just controlling everything with your own mind. Oh, God, now I'm breathing consciously. Yeah. Fuck you! Fuck and you! It, and you're real, and you're you're feeling your tongue in your mouth, aren't you? <laughs> yes. Okay, stop it, please. I'm sorry. Stop it. I'm sorry. That wasn't intentional. But I will. You be can feel your the seat you're sitting on. You're yeah. always in contact with your clothing. Uh, well, not now. <laughs> oh God. What? It's more comfortable. I'm wearing a blanket. Fair enough. Just, you know. Keep your hands out of it. That'd be weird. Oh, God, no. And I mean, never when I'm talking to you. That's just... Ugh. Look, is that... Nudity doesn't have to be sexual. No. Okay, come on. No, no. Oh, that was a, that was a nice dodge. Thank you. You know, I think like your, your duplicate power looks more awesome when you're dressing like this, because it, it it feels like you know like like otherwise it's just duplicates, and now it's like you got you know like soldiers or squad mates. You know, it it adds to the effect. Let's see, get out of here. Let's get out of here. And hey, guess what? I'm gonna break the switch now, huh? Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Have fun with that. Have fun shitting in the corner. They're gonna die down here, aren't they? Yeah. Well. Well, I mean, like they're already dead. Yeah. Whatever. What, uh, what I, mean, I don't know. 
Oh god, the sudden realization of how... You know, uh, it comes and it goes, you know? Like, I don't realize how, how used to this I am. Yeah. I'm not a dead cultist. Oh. They're trying to get back in. Great. Ha! Well, good thing we found that... dead guy. Or girl, I didn't really know. I didn't look too closely either. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. It's... Don't want to get too attached. Don't want to start... Sympathizing with them too much. <laughs> What was that? Nothing. Singularity Seeker, what? Holy shit, that's... What does that mean? I don't know, and I don't want to think about it. I mean, I'm, I, I guess we're not talking about like, the technological singularity. No. But like, it's the thing, a singularity... You know, it could mean anything. It just means, like, from this point, the old rules do not apply. Because, like, beyond, you know, the singularity of a black hole, the old laws of physics no longer apply. Uh -huh. So, I mean, could be even, like, a cultural or a social singularity. Whatever you want to call this going on. Whatever it is, it sucks. Yeah. Yeah, it does. <laughs> 